What did you tell her? It's not your business. It is my business, because now we're broke. So you better find a way to get money from that girl. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's nice to see you again. I hope everything is well. It's me, Jack. And as usual, I will teach you six vocabulary words from a conversation in a real life story video. Today's real life story video is about the inheritance of a man who died suddenly. Before the video, let's take a look at the words. The first word is extravagant. Next are straight away and to be starving. We will continue with to be ashamed and to take care of something or somebody. The final one is generous. Okay, let's watch the video. Mr. Peterson. No, Mr. Peterson. No, 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 Mr. Peterson. I'm so sorry. Your father just died. Your father just died. Finally. I'm so sorry for your loss. How was the funeral? The funeral was extravagant. Like his whole life. Where's your brother? No, the new car is just amazing. Oh, I know. And soon enough, we'll have enough money to pay for it fully. Maybe we could get a new car for John, too. Sure. Aren't you supposed to be cooking? Yes, ma'am. I'm going to the kitchen straight away. I'm starving. The funeral was long and boring. The food needs to be ready in 15 minutes. Yes, ma'am. It's almost done. Just sit there. You shouldn't be here. My father always regretted that affair. He won't leave anything to a child who was born outside of marriage. Unlike you, I am here for the family, not the money. He was ashamed of you. You're stupid. If you think you're getting anything. Don't bother, Eric. She won't be here long anyway. You're right. You can stay, sister. Oh, I'm sorry. Carmen, let me help you. No, it's okay. Can I help too? Yes. Please, if you could take this to the kitchen. Thank you. Carmen, where are you going? Eat with us. Our family doesn't eat with servants. Eric, Carmen was like a family member to our dad. She cared about him more than you ever did. All you care about is money. Miss Lorenzo was working for him. She was the only one by dad's side when he died. It's okay, Rebecca. It's, it's... It's okay, Rebecca. I'll I'll eat in the kitchen. Eric, you're Looks like no one wants to listen to you rant. You know, it's weird you're Philip's daughter. You don't seem to get any of his good qualities. The lawyer is here. Oh well, shall we then? Just so you know, you're in this house for the last time. You have to leave as soon as we get this house. But Mrs. Peterson, I have no other place to go. That's not our problem, is it? Carmen, thank you for everything. And I'm really sorry for my brother. All of this will be over soon. He will get the money, and we will find some other ways to survive. I tried to find a new job before. It was really not that easy. I know, but don't worry, okay? I will help you out until you get back on your feet. Really? Thank you so much. Thank you for the coffee. Yes, I'm here today to read out the final will of Philip Peterson. Oh, do we really need to do this? We all know what it is going to say. I, Philip Peterson, being of sound mind, declare this document to be my final will and testament. I leave my house, all my valuable collection, and all the profit I made from my company to Miss Carmen Lorenzo. That cannot be true. You, I know what you did. You're little. I didn't, I swear. 
I didn't. I had no idea he was going to leave everything to me. No idea! Little girls like you would do anything. I didn't. I swear. You are lying. Carmen, darling, I'm very sorry for the way I treated you. It was just a really stressful day, you know? And I just wanted to make sure that everything goes well. Now, you know how hard Eric worked to make his dad proud, right? So, it's just... It, it, it's just really not fair that our family doesn't get anything. Can, and John, he's gonna need money for college. So, so sorry, I'm so sorry, I can't... Carmen, damn it. Carmen, look. I always liked you. I only married my wife to make my dad happy. If you agree, I will divorce my wife and come to live with you. What did you tell her? It's not your business. It is my business, because now we're broke. So you better find a way to get money from that girl. Carmen, I think that's the best decision my dad has ever made. What should I do? Whatever you decide, I'll support you. Carmen, don't listen to my sister. She just wants to take the money from you. But if you share the money with us, I promise I will take care of you. You can stay and work for us. And, and I'll even be generous with your salary. But if I keep the money, I don't need to work at all. I made my decision. I'm keeping the house and the money. Very well, Carmen. Come to my office tomorrow and we'll deal with all the documents. And it would be an honor if you, Rebecca, stayed with me. With your daughter, of course. I'll share the money with you. And we can live all together here. But you don't have to do that. I want to... You never cared about the money, and you always treated me like family. Family is always more important than money. Carmen, please, tell me you will think about it. This cannot be your last decision. Carmen, please. I'm sorry. But damn it. Let's go, John. Honey, where are you going? We had a deal. You promised me money. You promised I'll never have to work. And now, you have nothing. You're completely in debt. Honey, wait. We can figure it out together. There's no together. You're gonna be hearing from my lawyer. I'm so sorry for your loss. How was the funeral? The funeral was extravagant. Like his whole life. Extravagant. It means doing or using something or spending too much or more than is necessary. The examples, his personal life was completely extravagant. $400 a dress. Uh, that's a bit extravagant, isn't it? Aren't you supposed to be cooking? Yes, ma'am. I'm going to the kitchen straight away. Straight away. It means immediately or without delay. The examples? He didn't answer straight away. Do it straight away. I'm starving. The funeral was long and boring. To be starving. It means extremely hungry. The examples? I'm absolutely starving. I missed lunch. Oh, let's get something to eat. I'm starving. He was ashamed of you. You're stupid. If you think you're getting anything. To be ashamed. It means feeling guilty or embarrassed about something you have done. The examples. But you've got nothing to be ashamed about. He was ashamed to admit his mistake. I promise. I will take care of you. You can stay and work for us. And, and I'll even be generous with your salary. To take care of something or somebody. It means to do what is necessary to deal with a person or a situation. The examples? He has to take care of his sick mother. Could you take care of this customer, please? Generous. It means giving people a lot of money, presents, or time 
in a kind way. The examples? My sister's really generous. She's always buying things for her friends. She's always very generous to the kids. Well, that's it. We finished our lesson for today. I hope you find these vocabulary words very useful. And if you like today's video, hit the like button. And if you want to continue to learn English on our channel, please subscribe and then hit the notification button. See you in the next lesson.